I love the way she moves, yeah When she's watering our garden with the headphones Singing off key Ariana through the window And I can't help but hum along Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Alana here from the Fancy Navajo. I hope you guys are doing well and you enjoyed my last video on how to make your own fancy fresh spring rolls. However, if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description box below so you can catch up. So today we're gonna go out in my garden, hence the hat, and we're gonna do part two of succulent propagation. A few of you had questions on what to do once your succulent uh, leaves start to grow some roots. So it's been about a month now and my succulents have a uh, pretty long roots and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put them in some soil and so that they can start growing more and I'm gonna also be answering a few questions that I received on my social media uh, channels about how to take care of succulents in general so if that sounds like something you're interested in uh, definitely come along with me and if you did miss the first video about succulent propagation and you're like what the heck are you talking about Alana then make sure to check that one out before continuing this video I'll also put a link down in the description box um, so you can uh, watch that one as well so a few things before we get started I do live in central Arizona I live in the Phoenix area so it is very sunny and hot here we have very moderate uh, winters and for the most part it's sunny and bright and hot it's like an oven during the summer so just take that in consideration to these tips that I'm sharing with you um, and if you have similar climates to where I live here in Arizona these tips should be super helpful to you to make sure that you have healthy beautiful and lovely succulents and also, I am not an expert at growing succulents. I have grown succulents for the past uh, three to four years. And you know, to be honest, I wasn't the best succulent care person in the world. I've killed a many a succulent, but these are just some things that I've learned along the way to make sure that I create an environment for my succulents for them to grow and thrive. And if you have any tips for me, feel free to share them in the comments below. I'm always looking at ways to expand my knowledge about all of my plant babies. So feel free to share that and as always all this information the full information will be found on the fancy navajo.com and if we're already not friends on social media make sure to give me a follow on instagram at the fancy navajo and on facebook at the fancy navajo blog and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel for more videos like this and all right let's go ahead and go outside and have a little bit of succulent garden fun Let's go! So one question I get asked pretty frequently is where I have my succulents. So I do have them on my patio and they receive indirect sunlight for most of the day. So from sunrise and up to sunset, they're pretty much in the shade, but around sunset time, they do get hit by the sun for maybe an hour or so, hour or two so. And they just kind of live here on this shelf on my patio. And um, they say here because succulents uh, normally don't like to be in direct sun. And the second most asked question is how frequently I water my succulents. So I water them at least once a week. Again, I do live in a hotter climate and um, I, they do dry a little bit faster. However, if you live in a cooler climate, you may want to only water them every two weeks or maybe even a month. And for any of the propagated succulents, I do uh, mist and spray them. Um, every day as you can see here the roots look very long and pretty so the longer ones I've actually been propagating those for maybe about a month and a half and the ones that we uh, did for the video not all of them actually formed roots as you can see right there um, and that's what sometimes happens sometimes not all of them will root or form new succulents Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to need a shallow dish for our succulents to be planted in and we're just going to add in a little bit more soil to make sure that there's enough for the roots to stick to and I'm just spreading it out here. And this is what your leaves should look like with the roots starting to grow out from the succulent leaves. And here I'm just finding a place to put those roots into the soil. We want to make sure that they're in there nice and secure. And just doing this in a circle around the dish, um, getting the ones with the longer roots in first. Now 
Okay, so I had to take a little break because it's so hot out here, but um, basically I'm putting anything with roots in this little um, pot that I have here. It's kind of shallow, but not too shallow. And um, they may look a little bit overcrowded, but what will happen is the leaves will dry out and it'll make room for um, the little baby succulents. And these are actually the ones that I showed in the video um, of the propagated leaves. You can see the roots are very long. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these babies in here. I might grab some chopsticks to uh, make it a little easier to put the roots in the soil. These are all of the succulents that had roots and I put them all in the soil. As you can see, some of them are still peeking up from um, the soil. And that's just because the cactus uh, soil is a little bit more loose than regular soil and that's okay. Um, eventually the roots will um, ground themselves in the dirt. So this is what it looks like and um, the leaves on here will eventually dry off. And then once that happens, we're going to peel off those dry leaves. We'll look at those little succulent buds there. I also wanted to point out that some of the leaves didn't form any roots. So as you can see, they're a little bit more shriveled and turning brown. And for these ones, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them out. And the ones that don't have any roots, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on the shallow dishes so that they can form uh, better roots. So that way um, they stay in the soil. And same for these ones, there are a few that haven't uh, grown any roots, but these ones here are leaves that I pulled off pretty recently from another uh, overgrown succulent. And then eventually we will have beautiful succulents like these ones. These ones have been were propagated about a year and a couple months. And as you can see, they're pretty big here. And again, this whole thing was filled with lots of baby succulents. Not all of them always make it, but when they do, they form a little family and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here with the other uh, bigger succulents now because I want them to get a little bit more sun here. And uh, one thing I did forget to mention is whenever you have succulents, you want to make sure that um, your pots have drainage holes to them. Um, I forgot to do that to this one, um, but I think it'll be okay. Eventually I will uh, drill a hole in the bottom of this uh, before the roots get too long or I'll transplant them to another uh, dish but there you go we've potted our uh, beautiful succulents and i'm excited to see them grow into bigger ones like these ones and we're going to continue to miss these cuties at uh, every day so that way um, they have a little bit of moisture and like I said, I like to do it um, every day, uh, mainly because it's really hot here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we are back inside now where it is a lot cooler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you start any succulent propagation, uh, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook at The Fancy Navajo. And as always, the full instructions can be found on thefancynavajo.com. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. You take care, you be kind to one another. And until next time, take care.